do you want to take that sting out of your iron shots? What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. If you've golfed enough, you probably have hit a shot off center. I mean, I never have, but I've been told what it's like. And what happens is that vibration, that impact, gets transmitted through the shaft of your golf club right up to the grips, into your hands, and it goes zing, and it feels bad, and it feels a little bit like you were holding onto a jackhammer. You hit a piece of concrete with your club. It's really uncomfortable. And with iron shafts on clubs, it's even worse because this is a really good transmitter of that vibration. Even when you hit a shot well with your clubs, you might be getting that vibration through your hand, and what it can do is it can cause pain, numbness, discomfort over time, and if you want to get rid of of that even if you hit really good shots most of the time then you can now in a really simple and cheap way with these now i have used these in my irons and i want to tell you my story with them in that these are really just like foam pool noodles and they might actually be the most expensive pool noodles you've ever seen but they're just little styrofoam tubes this is about seven or eight inches long and it's about a half inch wide they look like pool noodles and if you're having a barbie doll pool party this might be perfect to throw in the pools for them but you can order packages of these and then what you can do is you can take this tube and put it down into the shaft and what you want to do is you actually want to get it into the shaft and push it all the way down so that it sits anywhere from about an inch to three inches down you kind of want to wedge it into the shaft not too much but you want to basically put it in there so that it's touching the sides of the shaft so that any vibration that comes up through the shaft gets absorbed and dissipated by this little foam here and depending on how wide the shaft is if you're using a really thick shaft and extra extra stiff the walls might be a little thicker so maybe it won't go down as far but for a lot of us i wouldn't be surprised if when you're pushing this in you're going to kind of find a natural resistance point two to three inches below the butt end of the club and then you're going to regrip it but normally during your annual grip replacement what i would do is take these off throw these down here and then put your grip back on now i do want to show you here because when i actually got new clubs i went to graphite shafts on my irons for the very first time and i thought you know what going to graphite shafts actually really really helped me in a couple of ways one it allows you to put more weight down here which i really like and the graphite because of the material here tends to absorb impacts more so a lot of people put these little foam pieces in so that your iron or steel shafts feel more like graphite now it wasn't a surprise to me to learn that putting these little foam noodles inside a steel shaft like this might reduce that vibration or that impact by 30 40 50 percent but it was a surprise to me to learn that you can still put these little foam vibration absorbers inside graphite shafts and reduce the vibration by 10, 15, or 20%. So I didn't know that, and I didn't do that, but now that I am regripping my clubs this year, I thought I would put in these foam noodles. Now, what you can see here is they are about the size of the shaft, which is what you'd expect, and the way you install them, it's probably going to be easier if you have this in your vise, like you are going to regrip your shafts, but if you can just kind of pinch this and kind of crimp it so that it goes into the shaft like that and now you can kind of start it now one of the things that you don't want to do is kind of bind it up you do want it to be pretty large so once you get it started like this what you need to do is use the tool to compress it and push it all the way in now you can order this kit with the tool and what that does is it takes these little foam noodles which are only like 25 or 30 bucks to 35 or 40 bucks and so i didn't order the tool but what i have found is that the tool is basically a clothes hanger rod and so if you have one of these wire coat hangers you can just straighten out this piece and i have found that this works pretty well and all you have to do is then push down and again easier in a vice and then push that sucker back in there so you're just kind of snaking it down the shaft and compressing it a little bit if you have a really thin flathead screwdriver i think something like that will work well too I have never really ordered it with the tool. I've always kind of made do with a little piece of wood or a flathead screwdriver, or in this case, the clothes hanger. Now, once you get that all the way down here and pushed in, then just regrip it and then go ahead and start hitting those miss hits without fear and the pain in your hands. Hey, if you want to pick up this little set of foam vibration dampeners, I'll put a link to them in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. Yeah.